welcome guys to this another math video in today's video we'll be looking at how to multiply fractions but before we get into that video guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're a newcomer to this channel please smash that subscribe button as these are all free ways to support the chris Maths academy now let's get right into it now let's say we had two fractions two third or two divided by three written as a fraction times 4 fifth or 4 divided by 5 written as a fraction. Now when we are multiplying fraction, it is quite easy actually. All we are doing here is multiplying the numerators together and multiplying the denominators together. So 2 times 4 that's 8 divided by 3 times 5 which is 15. And that's pretty much what multiplication is all about guys. Alright, it is that simple. However guys, in some cases you can actually reduce before you multiply or you can actually just carry out the normal multiplication of fractions and then simplify your answer at the end. And I'm going to demonstrate what I'm talking about here. What if we had 2 thirds times 3 fourths? Alright, now we could actually simplify first before we multiply. What do I mean? I can use something out of the numerator to simplify something in the denominator, right? Now let's look at it. We know that 2 goes into itself one time and 2 goes into 4 two times. We also know that 3 can go into itself once and 3 also goes into itself again once. And now what we can do is to carry out our multiplication here. So therefore we'll have 1 times 1 which is 1 divided by 1 times 2 which is 2. So therefore answer here is a half. And if you notice guys we still multiply the numerators together and the denominators together alright. So all we did was to simplify first then we actually did that. However we could also continue just like what we did here. So we could have done it just the same. So we have 2 3rd times 3 4th. Just going to write the same question here. And as we said, we can do it just like this. So we can multiply the numerators together. Alright, and we can multiply the denominators together. Now 2 times 3, that's 6, divided by 3 times 4, which is 12. Now we can reduce 6 divided by 12, guys. Let's look at it. We can say what? 6 goes into itself once. 6 goes into 12 twice. So therefore, this is the same thing as saying 1 divided by 2, which is a half. So the same answer as this. However, here we chose to reduce before we go on and multiply. Here we just carry out our normal multiplication operation multiplying numerators together, denominators together, and then we reduce our final answer. So this is basically how we multiply fraction guys, all right? And I know some of you guys might be wondering, what if we were given mixed fractions to multiply? That's also quite easy, all right? Now let's look at that. And we are going to just call it example three. Now let's say we had 1 and 1 fourth times 2 and let's say 2 third. Now how could we actually go about multiplying these mixed fractions right here? It is quite easy actually guys. All we have to do is to convert the mixed fractions to improper fractions. So 4 times 1 that's 4 plus 1 that's 5 quarter and if you are not comfortable with converting from mixed fractions to improper fraction you can check out that video that i have in the description section below titled how to convert from mixed fractions to improper fraction and you should also see that video right above us right now so that video that just popped up right above us you can hit that link also and that will take you to that video now let's also convert this mixed fraction to improper fraction so bring down our multiplication sign here. So we'll have 3 times 2, that's 6, plus 2, that's 8, divided by 3. If you notice, this looks a whole lot better than what we had initially. And remember guys, when multiplying, all we need to do is to multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. As well as, if it's possible, we can use something from the denominator to reduce something in the numerator or vice versa, alright? 
In this case, I'm just going to multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. And let's see what that will give us. So 5 times 8, I believe that's 40, divided by 4 times 3, which is 12. And we can reduce this fraction. So 40 divided by 12 in the form of a fraction can be reduced. We know that what? 4 can go into 40 10 times. And 4 goes into 12 3 times. So therefore, this is the same thing as 10 divided by 3 written in the form of a fraction. All right. And that's basically how we multiply a fraction. Guys, thanks for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. All right. If you're still here and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as these are all free ways to support the Christmas Academy. I'm looking forward to see you guys in our next video. Until then, blessings and peace.